Hello Internet and Happy New Year! Or in case if you're watching this from literally any other time of the year, you're, you're probably a bit confused. So just check the date, it all makes sense then. In the last video I promised you a topic on Minecraft. So I thought we could start off the new year by ruining everything you thought you knew about redstone. Cue the intro, cue the intro. Minecraft. What is Minecraft? Minecraft is a video game that... You know what? No. I'm not going to start off a video by explaining what Minecraft is. If you don't know what Minecraft is, you have lived in complete isolation of the entire human society since 2009, which scientifically and literally would make you insane. So, search that. So where were I? Oh yes, redstone. Redstone has been in the game since Alpha 1.0.1, when they introduced Redstone and Redstone Torch. Since then it has expanded to be this complicated computer algorithm thing, where you can design ginormous contraptions, with more blocks, more functions and more components. Many minerals in Minecraft are based off of real life elements, such as coal, diamond, emerald, diorite, that's how we pronounce it, and the site, and the other one. But is there a real life equivalent to redstone? Or, at the very least, did not base redstone off of a real life mineral or element? Easy! You might say. It's obviously electricity! You have buttons, you have lamps, you have levers, how more obvious can it get? But everybody who paid attention during secondary school knows that that is not how electricity works and behaves. Electricity works by having a line of copper or another metal that leads electricity, such as gold or copper for that sake. I'm repeating copper. Inside of these wires we have what's known as a column. A column exists of billions upon billions of electrons in tiny seas. If you add a battery in this circuit, the columns will move along the line and we will get electricity. We will use the movement of the columns to our advantage. For example, a light bulb consists of a bulb and a wire of tungsten or wolfram. When the columns move through the tungsten or wolfram, the tungsten or the wolfram glows because of chemical abilities. That's how we get the light. This, however, is absolutely not how redstone works. You can place multiple redstone dusts next to each other to form a line of redstone. From there you can take certain inputs such as levers, buttons and daylight sensors to make the redstone dust glow. When the redstone dust glows, it can activate certain outputs such as TNT, lantern and piston. I feel like this has been a myth throughout all of Minecraft, that redstone is somehow connected to electricity when in fact those two things are completely different. But if redstone isn't electricity, what is it then? Well, I made a short list of things that a real-life redstone must have. Number one, must be in hard state at room temperature. This just means that it can't be a gas or a liquid in room temperature, it must be a solid material. Number two, it has to be a powder of some sort. It can't be a rock like this, but it has to be a powder like this. So. The fact that it is in solid state isn't enough, it has to be a powder. Number three, it must be able to glow at some point. Whether it be flammable or just glowing in general, it must be able to glow. 
That's a, a very important part of our redstone, it glows. It must be found on the ground or at least somewhere in nature. Redstone is a natural resource that you, the player, find in Minecraft, in nature. You don't craft it, you find it. Therefore, it must be naturally occurring. Number five, it must be red, obviously. I mean, who, who, who gets redstone that isn't red? Like, red stone. It can't be, it can't be grey, it can't be blue, it must be red stone, obviously. It, it, I think this, this uh, point is fairly self-explanatory. Now, of course, there are simple qualities with redstone that we simply have to ignore in this case. For example, the fact that redstone can go up walls, and it can go through glass in some cases, and literally every component that has something to do with redstone. So, with this checklist, I went on my quest to search for something that fitted these criteria. And did I find anything? Well, no. But I found something that almost resembles redstone. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Phosphorus. Also known as what's on the top of the matchstick. Phosphorus is the 15th element on the periodic table and can be found in many shapes, including a red powder. Phosphorus is easily flammable by friction, which is why it's on the edge of the matchstick. All of these points seem to indicate that we have found the right element here. However, phosphorus cannot be found underground. Remember I said it could be found in many shapes? Well, the original one is white phosphorus, and we have red phosphorus and we have black phosphorus, also known as purple phosphorus. White phosphorus is the original one. You find it in nature by extracting it from other minerals. And white phosphorus is, in its original state, clayey and completely pale, even toxic to touch. In fact, white phosphorus is so reactive that it, it just can't be found in its pure state in nature. It must be connected with some other elements. However, if you expose white phosphorus to sunlight, it will start to crystallize and become red phosphorus and to become a powder almost like my skin. Meaning that if you found phosphorus in nature, it wouldn't be red, it would be white. Mm, then again, Minecraft isn't exactly known for following the laws of physics, am I right? I mean, for a game that introduces dragons, zombies, skeletons, slime, and a literal hell, I think we can ignore a few chemistry mistakes. The point of this video isn't to find out exactly what redstone is in real life, or at the very least what it's based on. The point of this video was to explain to you that redstone isn't electricity at all. I've seen this mistake so many times and I am tired of it. Redstone isn't electricity, just get used to it. Oh, and if you have another element or a mineral that you think fits the description better than my phosphorus, then leave it in the comment section, I would seriously love to hear. I know, that I know you are in there somewhere. Someone out there knows of a mineral or an element better than mine, so publish it, do it, do it. And the element of the month is phosphorus, obviously. Do you have a favorite element? Would you like that to be publicly acknowledged? Well, you've certainly come to the right place, because this is the only YouTube channel on the internet that has a monthly element contest in the comment section. Just share your favorite element in the comment section below, and I will choose the one who gets the most upvotes to be the next element of the month. Who knows, maybe your favorite element will be the next element of the month. Phosphorus. 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 How do you pronounce it?